Okay, Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I hope you all had an amazing holiday weekend. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And if you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below the video. Do click on that link and that will take you to my booking site and you can book with either Brandy or myself. All right, you guys, so we're going to take a look at July, see what's going on, and I'm also going to take a look and see if there's any general messages. But wow, you have some interesting cards to start. You're starting with the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, changing, and healing. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening the heart, getting together perfect. And wow, this must be just like living in paradise. <laughs> All right, who's that? <laughs> Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So it looks like um, someone here is coming to terms with the fact that you hold the key to their heart. And it is glorious. It is like a paradise. It's like, I can't even believe this, right? This is the energy of someone here we're picking up. Let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right. What else does Virgo need to know here? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Wow. Shocking. Yeah, Virgo. So, I mean, someone is like, it feels like a big revelation in, in a shocking way. Like, you're like I feel like this person you're they're losing their top <laughs> not actually losing their top but I feel like somebody here is definitely like blown away uh, or will be blown away by um by you you know um let me see what else is going on here there's someone here who's just completely like blown away that's that's the, the majority of the message let's see what else is going on here for you. Oh my gosh, Virgo. Okay. King of Wands. So, yep. So Mars energy could be Aries. Definitely. For some with the Towers, the Scorpio energy. But um, it looks like you're going to be connecting with a fire sign. Okay. There's a connection. There's a fire sign showing up here. Let me see. Now, I will tell you this person. Very... Um, sensual so to speak okay and this person showing up very curious about you wants to talk to you wants to ask you some questions get to know you there'll be some text messages or communication um, with this person or a, a lot of communication I feel like somebody this person is speaking spying asking around about you watching you in some way and uh, I don't know. Show me this this uh, this tower. This shock. This wow, devil, obsessive. Someone here just crazy obsessed. This king of wands, crazy obsessed. Um, a lot of physical and um, physical passion as well. A lot of sexual energy as well. Uh, let me see. <laughs> If this person is watching you or is just like coming like they realize that like you're like you're the one they they want that's what i feel like is something like that let me see what else is going on here oh yeah so this is a little bit of a secret but they intuitively know also that oh you're something oh yeah you're something you fancy virgo you fancy i feel like somebody here is th they're kind of keeping it a secret they're keeping it to themselves they're not seeing anything um at least to other people okay they're not letting anybody else know i just feel like this person has like a boom moment you know like let me see a lot of major arcana 
Definitely wanting to talk to you though. You might get a call or a phone call, I mean, or a message or something along those lines. Oh yeah, this person, um, wow, three of wands. So this phone call, I feel, or this message, whatever it is, um, is gonna be around Okay, so they're saying somebody wanting to make some plans with you or to talk about um, getting together or traveling um, or to meet up with you. This King of Wands wanting to meet up with you. Okay, and we'll be waiting. They might have already left you a message or sent something to you and they're kind of waiting to hear back as well. Um, if they've already done that, they're waiting to hear back. If they haven't, they will be sending you a message and hoping you will you will reply but i feel like i feel like this person just they feel like you have the key to their heart you have the key and it's just like you're everything to them you want that paradise <clears throat> it's funny because it's happiness expansion and joy and this three of wands is also a card of expansion okay virgo so um i feel like this person wants to like spend some time with you and see if you can build something together um this might be at a distance you guys might be at some kind of a distance as well you know maybe across the water for some of you let me see what else is going on here virgo i mean this person i just feel like even with that devil it could be a capricorn or pisces but even with this devil card I mean, this is like somebody's coming to terms or coming to realize that like that you're all that they can think about. You know, that obsession kind of energy. This devil, um, this devil, this king of wands either has it now or will be feeling this pretty damn strongly. Um like they can't let you go like chained like you're it for them okay tell me more or t at least tell virgo more about this king of wands because the king of wands shows up as someone who's very bold and what very bold and passionate and fiery can be very lustful but not immature or anything like that i feel like this this person wants you virgo like this this person really wants to they just want to be with you let me see. Why are they keeping this to themselves right now? And they're just kind of watching. They're not seeing anything. So why are they just looking but really not seeing anything directly to you? Why haven't they done that yet or what's going on? All right. So they're definitely in decision mode here with this two of wands. Um, I feel like this person is kind of like weighing their options a little bit and well not necessarily weighing their options but just trying to figure out a, a little bit like I'm not so sure if it's when or if it's if they should reach out to you okay um I f but I kind of feel like the, the question if they do are you going to respond or are you going to be interested? Virgo, this is crazy because King of Wands is not someone who lacks confidence ever. But there's something here that you make this person kind of weak at the knees where they're a bit intimidated or um, and they don't want to be rejected, which is so not the King of Wands. So they're keeping it to themselves. And also I want to find out like what else is going on why it's a secret or a little more clarification okay the emperor wow hmm okay so for some of you this person is kind of hesitating um they're watching trying to get information on you to see if you have somebody else or if there's anyone else in the picture um if you are married or you have a significant other okay um but i don't feel like that's gonna make them stop i feel like right now at least or in july they're just trying to gauge to see if you have somebody else or if there's anyone else that is going to be an obstacle or if they're gonna have to fight someone for you 
<laughs> wow, Virgo. Okay. So there's also possibly an issue with another male in their life, maybe a father figure or another male in their life um, that they're talking to right now that is kind of influencing their decision. Um, or they might be talking to another male that you know, trying to get information on whether or not you're single or if you're just on your own or what's going on. Let me see. Um, Show me this tower and the devil. I knew this was going to, I knew this was going to happen. Six of cups is in the reverse. Um, okay. Let me just say this with the six of cups in the reverse, Virgo, this person is, um, <laughs> they are a little, they have like some unrealistic expectation, you know, like they're a little uh, overly confident. I will say that in that they know that you will say yes like in their heart it not in their heart but like maybe in their head there might be a little bit of ego they they tell themselves there's no way Virgo's going to resist me because i'm amazing <laughs> you know and i feel like this person might they they just have a very strong charisma or sexual attraction or kind of they're very alluring um and I feel like this person knows that they have um, the weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where that came from. That will... <laughs> that They're just like all about that, about themselves. <laughs> they're just like, I can annihilate Virgo and Virgo knows it and will keep coming back for more. <laughs> Uh, like okay stop already stop but i also feel like this person's stuck on you they're stuck on you virgo so i don't know if they see, they see you somewhere or they've seen you or you've met them or maybe you know them this could be someone from your past who's still crazy stuck on you and also they are if you've been with them before they are stuck on the physical pleasure and you know what you were able to do and you know all that stuff like they're just addicted you might as well face it you're addicted to love so there's a little bit of that kind of energy going on this person and their weapon of mass destruction so yeah virgo i mean this person's just got it bad for you and you're like paradise to them maybe maybe you did something and you brought them to paradise or they just kind of like they're so stuck on you that they want to find out if you don't know this person you know um but they're being a little strategic in that they are um they're trying to work it out they're being a little strategic and trying to work it out they don't want to have to get into the middle of some kind of fight <laughs> with um, a contender, but this person knows that they're a contender and they will win you over. It, they, they're very, so it doesn't mean that they will, but they think that they will. Okay, let me just make that clear. This person just very high confident in that area when it comes to attracting someone to them. Oh my gosh. All these cards just flipped out, Virgo. So the Ace of Cups is here. My gosh, yeah. Holy, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Oh, hold on, you guys. Hey, I'm on the phone. I mean, I'm recording. I'll call you right back. Okay. Bye. All right. Sorry. So... Um, page of pentacles six of pentacles nine of pentacles i mean this person like virgo this is all you here and especially here like you are it virgo nine of pentacles you you got the you got the jewels virgo independent solo attractive fit healthy um one or all you've got something um very stable yeah, it's single as Pringle, very happy with where you are in your life to the best of your ability. You know, maybe you take care of your kids or you support other people, you know. Um, <clears throat> you, some of you, you talk about money, uh, something to do with money. 
you have good creative ideas, financial, good financial creative ideas, you're patient, you know, you're, um, you're not, you're very conservative here, you know, you don't rush, you don't rush into things, but with this Ace of Cups, it's like, oh man, there's like so, like, I mean, Virgo, I feel like you are someone who's like, you know that you have blessings in your life, right? But I feel like this person sees all this about you as well. And you're just such a catch to this person. And I feel like that's why they're being so strategic when it comes to um, trying to win you over. Yeah, bring you that key to your heart. Like this person is just trying to play their cards right. They don't want to screw up. Okay, so Five of Swords in the reverse okay um oh my gosh this is funny virgo i feel like this person you're gonna find out they're gonna get caught you're gonna find out that this person is up to some tricks so you're gonna find out somehow you're, you're gonna hear something you're gonna see something um before they actually approach you you're gonna find out so someone's gonna say something to you like do you know this person, Virgo? They've been talking about you. Um, they've been asking around about you. It could be someone at work. It could be, you know, wherever. But I feel like you're going to find out something. There's going to be a little bit of a clue, a little bit of a giveaway um, that you're going to catch this person sneaking up on you or trying to inquire about you. And and they, they are trying to hide it because they're trying to be strategic so that they don't get rejected because they feel like this person does kind of have you up on a pedestal. A little bit of pedestal, Virgo. Yeah. I mean, you're just, in their eyes, it's not about how you feel about yourself because how you feel about yourself may not have anything to do with how somebody else sees you or feels about you, okay? So don't project. But how this person sees you, even if you don't feel this way about yourself, they see you as being oh my god like unbelievably amazing super cool laid back gr someone great to talk to extremely attractive someone who's like got their ish together i mean i i don't know if this person <clears throat> is around people like that but there's just something about you virgo and so you're gonna catch them they're gonna get caught watching you or something something's gonna happen and you're just gonna have that little aha moment like oh, oh okay so it sounds like hmm what's going on they're interested what the heck's going on somebody's gonna tell you a little secret little birdie's gonna come in and you're gonna get some kind of clue let me see what's gonna happen are they gonna find out let me see what's gonna happen after that oh three of swords whoa Huh. I don't get it. I, honestly, I'm asking what's going to happen after that. And the Three of Swords is here. There's some kind of argument. That's what they're telling me. But why? I think we need a little more spirit tell virgo like what is gonna happen after this person gets caught oh oh it's not an argument now they're saying you're gonna find out that this person um okay you're gonna find out i feel like from another person's gonna come in and tell you that this person is heartbroken um, over some kind of separation or argument um, or uh, either with you if it was someone you knew before or w with somebody else there uh, somebody's gonna tell you this person is single um, they went through a breakup through separation and divorce okay however you find out you're gonna find out somehow I, let me just so let me just ask how is virgo gonna find out about this person because i feel like you're gonna get a little clue before this person approaches you 
there is going to be some message of some sort that you're going to get about you know what's going on with this person okay all right yeah um I feel like it's going to be through a friend, a friend or someone. It, it doesn't have to be a friend. It could be, but it's it's someone. It's just going to be like there's going to be a conversation, right? Most of you are going to get a conversation with someone that's going to say, hey, guess what? Person, you know, king of wands, you know, they lost their person or, you know, whether it's through like somebody's passed away or... Um, there's a breakup, something's ended, something along those lines. That's kind of how you're going to find out. Um, but I feel like you're going to get a lot of different clues. You might get some weird phone calls or you might get some strange messages or something like that. Things are going to just start falling into place where the first time you see something, you might be like, that's kind of crazy. Um, and just kind of brush it off but then it's going to happen again and then after that it's it's kind of like you know the first time you see a ufo it's like i'm not sure if that was real then you keep seeing it like three four or five more times it's like okay wait something's up so that's kind of like that's how i feel the energy is going to be here and um there's going to be a coming together this person is going to find out uh or they're going to find out that you found out okay um and i feel like there's going to be an approach definitely in July. Um, where there's going to be some kind of a meetup or this person's going to ask you out or, you know, ask to meet up or talk or something along those lines or go for a date or something like that. Now show Virgo the death card. Why is the death card here? And that there is Scorpio energy because there's definitely a new love start happening here. <laughs> okay yeah there's definitely something that's ended and some grief now for those of you with the six of cups in the reverse who have this being someone who has not let you go or has just they're hurting um very sad about something that's ended because you are it for them um i feel like there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to talk if that's if you want it okay um, if you want that, um, it's what they want though. It, it, there's a lot of like grief and sadness attached to this person when it comes to you and them, okay, of something being over. Now, as far as this being somebody new who just is like stuck on you, okay, there is an energy there of this king of wands. Um, there'll be a conversation when you guys connect, you know, about their loss, you know, they are single. There is nobody else in their life. Okay. And how they're just trying to start their life over here. Okay. But I, I, I like that the honesty will come out because I feel like this person's truthful. I just kind of feel like they were hoping to get, <laughs> they didn't want you to know. They don't want you to know that they're watching. They don't want you to know that they're trying to scheme something up so that they can like be prepared. Um, because they don't want to screw up. That's what I keep hearing. They want to do something right here. But um, I do feel like they're going to find out that you find out. And in create some crazy little way, I feel like they're going to be a little bit relieved um, about it. Okay? A little bit relieved. But they are going to approach. Now let's see when in July is this person going to approach Virgo. Oh, now you've got the King of Cups here. So for some, this is a water sign. Okay. So let me see. Coming in with some very soft, compassionate, supportive, tender, loving energy. <gasps> Ooh, and the Queen of Cups. So there's a match here. That's for sure. Let me see. When are these two going to connect? Oh my God, you've got the star. Um, Virgo, the 17th of July, there's going to be a renew, renewal of healing, renewal of this relationship. There's going to be a renewed spirit. Um, this, this feels very blessed. You know what I mean? This, this, this connection, whether it's someone from the past could also be somebody new. It could be both happening at the same time, but you know, you know, your story, um, 
I mean, July 17th is, will be significant. And I kind of feel like I said that. Didn't I say that in one of my other readings that 17th was going to be significant? Was that the full moon? I can't remember now. But um, there's going to be fireworks. I'm telling you. Look at this. I think I said that in my, one of my last weekend's reading. There's fireworks here between you and this person. Like a match. You know, Virgo, you're showing up as a water sign, um, watery energy. This person's showing up in watery energy. When you guys come together, and what does that mean? Like, it doesn't matter. You're a Virgo. This person, could, their sun sign could be a fire sign. You know, but it, when you two come together, th this connection here, there's healing of the emotions. There's um, both being on the same page emotionally, supporting each other, loving each other, being kind and sincere to each other. I mean, that kind of feels like the outcome of this in July. So you are definitely going to be connecting with this person. I mean, it's in the cards. It's not destined, though. So remember that. So when I give you a tower card reading, I'm telling you the messages that I'm getting. But you're in control of your destiny always. You're in control of your fate. You know, is it fated to happen? Yes. Does it mean it will? Not necessarily, because you can change that. You can deny and you can say yes, you know, so it's completely up to you. Let me just get a couple of messages of love here because I want to see what else is going on here because I do feel like this person is just hot to trot for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The rocket ship's going off. Yeah, look, support, leaning on the inner circle during this time. This person may be part of your inner circle or becomes part of your inner circle. Like I said, very supportive energy here between you and this person. I feel like my lights are getting darker. Let me see. Hold on. Right, hopefully that helps. What other messages for Virgo? Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. I'm just picking up like rocket ships, weapons of mass destruction, missiles. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth, Virgo. Very good. Okay. I don't know what that means for you, but that's a message for somebody. You also have go slow. Take time to get to know each other. And I do feel like this person wants to get to know you. And I feel like you will want to get to know them. Um, and, you know, obviously I know some of you are like... There was a past person that was really horrible and you're done with that person. I totally get it. You're not going back. That's fine. Because for some of you, um, at those of you in that position, I, like I said, I do feel like there is somebody new as well. I was feeling that at first. And then what I was feeling is that this person can't get you out of their head. But then I was also picking up that there's a small percentage of you, of you where this is a past person, okay? Someone who's still stuck on you, right? So different pages, you and this person don't share the same um, values, okay? So I do feel like for some of you, that is your past person comes back and you're just like, nah, we're just not even on the same page. I'm sorry you're stuck on me. I don't blame you. I mean, have you seen me? <laughs> Virgo's like, but you know... It is what it is. And for others, it's just like, okay, well, you know, I still love you. And, you know, you obviously still love me. So let's see if there's anything to salvage. We could try. But if not, you know, then we just keep it moving. Let me see what other message there is here for you. Okay, right? So there's that confirms it right there. New love or recommitment to love develops in July. Like I said, Virgo. Okay, so you got to take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, it's hard to do readings when I've got two different energies showing up. I feel like in my readings, a lot of the time, this does happen. And I don't watch other readings, so I don't know if it happens on other channels with other readers. But I do feel like there is some hope here between you and another person. And I have to say that. Um, but again, at the end of the day, you kind of have to want... You know, if you if you don't see there's anything salvageable with someone, maybe there's just friendship. Maybe that's the best both of you can arrive at, right? And maybe that'll be enough. And for others, it's like, nope, how did you even get my phone number again? <laughs> I know, I hear it. I see you guys in the chat. How did you even get through? I thought I blocked you. You know, a lot of that stuff going on. So, um, but I just got to give the message. 
All right, let me see what the Moon Pie Tarot messages are. And if you want to get this deck, there's a link in the description box below. Okay, so you have the Hangman. All right, no, I'm sorry. This is um, the Moon again. Okay, although there may not be enough light to see ahead, the shadows may be kind of scary. Only believe in what you can see and not what your mind's tricks may tell you. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, but remain still until more information is available and you're being asked to take caution, right? Because some things are going to be revealed to you. The whole moon energy for July is there's going to be these little things that happen in July in regards to this person. And... Like I said, it's not going to make sense the first time. You're not going to trust yourself. Or you're just, you're, or other people are going to say something to you and make you doubt stuff. But I feel like as time goes on and then these things begin happening more and more, then it's going to be something where you're like, okay, I'm not going crazy. This situation, what I think is going on is this is what's happening. Okay, so you've got a new love start in July. Just keep that in mind, July 17th something significant new love is starting okay and still undecided yeah virgo well right now probably as you're listening to this and maybe as you go through july you might not be sure because like i said you're not going to have all the information okay cupid's arrows love messages and travel so i'm telling you virgo there's something happening here for somebody for one of you virgos there's definitely something occurring Let's see what your Chinese signs are. I'm sorry, your, um, no wait, yeah, your Chinese signs, I'm all backwards. All right, let's see. What is this person's Chinese sign and, or Virgo's Chinese sign? And if you aren't sure what your Chinese sign is, you can just Google it. Look up Chinese Zodiac and then type in the year you were born. And that should, um, complete the picture. Hold on dropping things okay let's see okay year of the tiger year of the rat year of the ox year of the monkey year of the snake year of the rabbit and we have the monkey again we have a snake again Year of the goat. Rabbit again. Did I say tiger? I think I did. Can't remember. Okay, well, we have year of the tiger. Yeah, I did. Okay. Hold on. Oh, and year of the dragon. Okay, Virgo. So those are the Chinese signs. It could be yours. It could be theirs. It could be neither. Uh, just take it as it resonates. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see what your other random messages here for Virgo. What other random messages are here for Virgo? Oh, a bunch of bunch, bunch of bananas. All right, so definitely a same sex relationship. Okay, and. Hmm. All right. There's, I just saw, they gave him the face of an actor. I forget his name. He was in a TV show called 24, and I think he was in Lost Boys. Sutherland? Kiefer Sutherland. Okay. I don't know what the connection is there, but they just showed me Kiefer Sutherland. If you know who he is. I mean, I'm sure you guys do, because most of you guys are, you know, from that time period. Um, Okay, so they're just also giving me the number 4310. Okay, um, now somebody's got their suitcases packed, they're at the door, they're going somewhere. Okay, and um, so I'm getting the initials. All right, they just said Zach, the, the name Zach. I'm also picking up the letter C, um, X. Also the letter I, and I've got three one zero, 
and someone is 42 or 23. That could be the year of the birth, that could be your birth date, that could be your age, okay? And um, someone is Japanese, I think. In, I, I think it's Japanese or someone I'm seeing a short short hair Asian person short hair Asian person okay and um, I'm also seeing fresh apple pie okay fresh apple oh and now they're also showing me someone's line dancing country line dancing so we went from apple pie to country line dancing I mean hey you get what you get here okay let me see we also have someone's birthdays in April. Okay. Oh, we have the letter H and um, the Little Mermaid. They just gave me the Little Mermaid. Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Isn't there the Little Mermaid just came out or something? Was it a musical? And there's fish and dolphins and mammals, sea creatures, and a little girl, little mermaid and a little girl. So I don't know if somebody went to see that or they're watching it with a little, with a child, or it could be a little boy that has longish hair. It's blonde. There's blonde. Okay, let me see. Or just a child. Let me see. Okay. Oh, beach towel, bright red. Who's got a bright red beach towel? Huh, okay. <laughs> Two people running towards each other in a hazy, warm field. <laughs> like an old movie. Maybe you saw that in a movie or something. Um, I'm also seeing two people fighting over the, over a child either custody or just fighting over a child, arguing over a child. And there's also something about um, two people going to pick a child up, but it's only one parent's time with the child. Somebody makes a mistake. I'm hearing that. Okay. Um, I'm also getting the letter K and the letter F as in Frank or Philomena, they just said, okay. Oh, Virgo, your person, this person is kinky, very kinky. Somebody, or somebody is, maybe it's you, Virgo, very kinky, a little kink. Maybe you like the kinks, something to do with kink here. Okay, let me see, just a couple more, and then we'll move on to... Okay. Hmm. Someone has like a Grecian um, cookware or vase. It's like blue and white. <clears throat> and there's a plant. There's a plant in a blue and white vase. I guess that's what they're telling me. Plant in a blue and white vase. Someone's also... Um, like in a study or a library, maybe listening to this, reading. A lot of books. I just see a lot of books. Okay. Hmm. So they just gave me jellyfish also. They just said, um, watch out for the jellyfish. That guy out through my window better not be letting his dog poop on my grass and not picking it up. So I need, I know what he looks like now. I'm going to go find him if he doesn't pick that up. <laughs> I don't like, don't leave a mess. That's disgusting. Pick up your dog's poop. Don't leave a mess. Okay, let me see. Last one. All right, we've got someone's, uh, all right, so letter J, someone's name, initial J or JJ. Okay. And mm, someone starts with an E, Elizabeth, Edward, there's an E. I'm hearing an E. Okay. And uh, um, 
Okay, they just said, this is strange. Um, there's a competition, a game, a competition, some kind of sport or something where there's going to be a win that's connected to you. There's a win, right? Somehow, some way that's connected to you. Um, there's a win. The team's going to win. That's what I just heard. The team's going to win. Okay. And now they're giving me um, Purple Rain. Do you guys remember? I used to channel Prince like last year or the year before. It was nothing but Prince all the time. I don't know if anybody was here with me then. Maybe you were. But they're just giving me that song, Purple Rain. Okay. All right. Aquarius. Leo. Aquarius twice and Virgo. Aquarius, Leo, and Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, you might have a connection with Aquarius or Leo. Someone is 50. Um, okay, someone, September 9th. I'm also picking up 1988, 1991. Um, okay, so they're giving me these. All right, you've got the 111. You also have, all right, four, so I'm, it's four numbers from a phone number. 1116. Okay, and one, six, seven, five. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right, ten, ten. Maybe that's somebody's house address. Ten, ten. We also have the age fifty four. We have 41, okay, and we have number 117 and 112, and they're also giving me, okay, November 1974, mm -hmm. and April 12th, okay, 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 oh wait, I want to get, I want to get your birth dates, my apologies, I'm a little off. I've had quite a weekend. All right. So, September 18th, September 3rd, September 9th, um, September 10th, September 5th, and September 4th. Okay. And any August? I can't forget the August Virgos. All right. August 27th. 29th, uh, 20, no, 22nd, no, well, could be, somebody might think they're a Virgo, and August 24th, okay, um, so if I don't call your birth date, just so you guys know, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, all right, just keep that in mind, okay, um, yeah, I mean, and I just, I saw the 29th, but I'm not sure if I said August 29th or not. Okay, let's get your charms. What's a charm for Virgo that Virgo needs to know? Ooh, that's not a charm. Okay, let's see. All right, I have no idea what the hell that is. <laughs> it looks like a drill. Um, is that a drill, you guys? I guess it is. It's a two-handed drill. So... I don't know if that resonates for anyone. Something to do with a two-handed drill. Somebody using a drill, or maybe it's caulk, caulk gun, or maybe it's a dashund with a cast. I don't know. Um, <laughs> are some of you caulking? <laughs> but yeah, this is some kind of like drill. I feel like it's a drill. So somebody's working with a drill, or someone uses a drill. Drill is very significant um, for someone. Okay. You also have, hold on, let me get your cards here. You also have a love heart. Wow. Okay, wait, hold on, you guys. Just get a few. There's a couple of charms here. Hold on. Okay. Virgo, I can tell you right now, um, Somebody's coming in to fill that other half of a broken heart for you. Absolutely. Okay, love is good. love is on the table. Um, maybe somebody likes to eat black and white cookies. I don't know if you've ever had one. 
I have not, but I've seen them everywhere. A black and white cookie, they just said. Very significant for someone. You also have a hamsa right here, which represents protection, a symbol of protection. And I do feel like you uh, the message that you had in your reading was that you were pr divinely protected. Okay, or you have something, maybe maybe you have some henna or some kind of henna design. Um, I don't know, it could be for marriage. Some of you might actually have it for legit reasons or you just like to get it done. Uh, henna tattoo or maybe someone got one, I don't know, over the weekend or something. And also, um, wow, you've got um, an anchor here. So there's some kind of connection to a boat or a ship. Um, either you were on one or you know someone that has one or you have one um, or you did something over the weekend or you will be doing some sailing or putting an anchor down doing something over the week or the, the rest of July as well um, I don't know when are you gonna like eat black and white cookies on a on a boat while you're fishing with your lover I don't know what are you doing <laughs> Virgo what are you doing <laughs> somebody's got to like get the drill repair the boat I don't know what the hell I'm talking about but yeah here you go someone's coming in with that wand Virgo let me just tell you or it's you <laughs> but I'm gonna leave your reading there that was a lot of fun um I'll be back here tomorrow with your weekend reading of course and uh please do book a reading if you would like to get a personal reading with me feel free and uh yeah I have to go make some calls so have a great night you guys and I will see you all back here tomorrow love you